What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you my guide on how to mod Kingdom Hearts 2 for PCSX2. Let's get into this. Hey everyone, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you. Alright, so I've done a couple of tutorials on how to mod uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 for PC from the Epic Games Store. Uh, this time, we're going with Kingdom Hearts 2 on PS2. So, PC 6.2, of course, is the oldest way to play Kingdom Hearts 2 um, with mods. And the mod process, unlike with PC, is actually very simple. Uh, you, only need a few, you only need a few things. So, first, you're going to want PC 6.2 1.6.0. I believe that's the most recent version of PC 6.2. Or PC 6.2 EX. Either one, uh, but preferably 1.6. Once you've got that installed, you want to go ahead and get your clean copy of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Uh, you can apply an English patch to it if you want. Mine does, so that's why mine will be in English. But once you've got your copy of Kingdom Hearts 2, which I have got mine, I've dragged all my stuff so it's clear. So here's my copy of Kingdom Hearts 2. What you want to do is you want to rename it to kh2fm.iso, all in capitals, and drag that into, I'm going to put it in this folder because I've just called this Kingdom Hearts 2 PS2. Next, what you're going to want is you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to go to this GitHub that I'm going to link down below. Um, but it's what's called the KH2 Final Mix Toolkit. Now, the KH2 Final Mix Toolkit is this. It's a GitHub page. So, again, you can just download it from here. And this toolkit will basically allow you to mod Kingdom Hearts 2. So, with that in mind, you've got that downloaded. I've got mine downloaded right here an exe file so just drop that in that folder too and then you're going to want whatever mods you want to use now bearing in mind that kingdom hearts 2 for the ps2 is a lot harder to mod in the sense of huh, a lot of mods either work or only work to a point so keep that in mind uh, modding on the ps2 version of kingdom hearts 2 isn't a straight it's it's not as good as it is on pc but it can still work so the one i'm going to be using is the riku mod uh, which was made by tom uh tonk 1004 so shout out to you um i'll link the uh, youtube video where i got this from in the description below so don't forget to go sub to that guy because really cool mod actually it's very good decently functional it does crash but decently functional um again put your mod in this folder so now i've got pc 62 open right now so to prove to you that this is an unmodded version other than a patch that allows you to um turn the translation to english but again uh, that's a separate thing if you want a separate tutorial on how to do that then just let me know in the comments down below um but this is a clean version so boot is oh, no that's no that's not what i need thank you um so desktop uh htp is two so you'll see full well that this is a unmodified version other than the english translation because that's not done this way that's done a different way um but it's also the best way to do it too in fact, it's been a long time since I last played the PS2 version because I've just been using PC. Because um, KH2, what I've been playing is randomizer. And you could do it on PS2 as well, but but I prefer it on the PC version. Uh, okay, so we'll load up one of my save files. Let's go to this one. We're in the IO communications tower. So we'll load up and it'll look normal. Like, there'll, there'll be no problems. It does take a hot second to load, though. And look, we're in. So, oh, I forgot my bindings are a bit messed up. Because, well, my sensitivity is a bit messed up. But yeah, this is basic Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, no changes. Everything's the same. We've got Oblivion, I think, equipped. Yeah, we've got Oblivion. So Oblivion's cool. Like, I've been messing around with mods for a few hours. That's why there's a few weird items. Um, but yeah, this is basically just unmodified. So, GG. Good, like, good game. So... I want to apply the Riku mod, and what that will do is it will transform Sora into Riku. Pretty straightforward, right? And it actually is. So once you've got the files necessary, which I, again, I will link in the description below. So you want to put them all in the same folder. So kh 2 finalmixiso kh 2 finalmix underscore toolkit exe, and the mod or mods that you want to use. Now, literally, when they're all in the same folder, all you have to do is drag the mod onto the toolkit and boom, and then hit enter. And that will apply all the mods. Now, bearing in mind, if you're applying multiple mods, there is a higher chance of crashes in the game because it's translating multiple, multiple, multiple mods. Um, so keep that in mind. But that's just modded. So 
if I then go back into here, and it's also created a new ISO called kh2finamix.newiso, that's how you know that this is the modified version. So if I go into here and go to ISO selector, uh, give it a hot second to load, because now I've created a new thing and is it going to oh, browse? Thank you. So now I'm in the right folder, kh2.ps2 on the desktop, kh2finamix.newiso, swap disk, and then reset. It'll then boot up the modified version of the game that I just made with um, the Riku mod. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the this mod's manager will work primarily with um, a KH2 patch files. They have to be these kinds of mods, otherwise it won't work with this. Um, the OpenKH mod manager can work for PS2, but only on very selective mods like Randomizer. So... Uh, but there is a if you want me to do a tutorial for randomizing kh2 on the pc 62 as well this is just a general mod video i've done a general mod and a randomizer mod tutorial separately on the pc version as well but if we load the game uh same save file it does take a hot minute unfortunately to load here we are i'm playing as riku there we go so, it's full, full playable Riku, which is very nice, even with the Riku sound effects. And when you go into drive forms, it also changes his outfit. So, it's kind of cool. So, if we just go out here quickly. Uh, oh. I forgot. Oh my god, the sensitivity is so skewed. I've got to fix that, but that's another problem. But say, for example, right now, if I go to Limit Form, it will change my outfit. It's really cool. Ah, no. All right, I need... Oh, no. Um, swap Tron. There we go. Wait, what? I can't go to Limit in this fight. Fair. <laughs> I thought I could go into Limit Form. Apparently, I can't. Okay, cool. Never mind. But yeah, that's basically how you mod KH2 on uh, PC 62 so if you want to see more like this, and if you want to see a tutorial of how to do randomizer on PC62, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to support the channel further if you want to by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK. And don't forget, I do live stream when I go live, I go live over here on YouTube and on Twitch and on Kick all at the same time. So depending on which platform you prefer to watch live streams on, if you want to watch them here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to watch me on Kick or on Twitch, don't forget to follow me on those platforms. Those links are down below and don't forget to enjoy yourselves. Have a good day. Thank you for watching today's video. You can hit the button on the right to subscribe to the channel. You can hit the button on the left to watch the previous video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video to help boost it in the algorithm. And don't forget you can also support me further by becoming a channel member. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.